It was the autumn of 1896. Grover Cleveland was president, and the fever the gold rush started was still in the air. But on this October day, the air crackled with the promise of something new, something that would change us all forever. Well, if that don't bring them in like ants to a picnic, they ain't a cow in Texas. So you think it'll be okay, huh, Paul? I tell you, a chicken can pull a plow, don't argue. Search him up. Give me a rag. Now, we have rules here. One of the rules is, if you want to be a member of the club, you have to do something that we tell you to do. What we've decided you have to do is climb Thunder Mountain. But there's a giant up there. Yeah, and they say he rips kids in half and eats them for breakfast. You're not afraid, are you? I ain't afraid of anything. Neither is Ben. Look, I'm not scared. Well, what do you say? You gonna do it? Or do you want to be known all around town as chickens? <laughs> sure we'll do it. We ain't scared. This is the latest thing. I just got five of them in this week. This is especially for Bear. It'll take a grizzly's leg clean off. Then I'll take all five. Oh, <laughs> I don't over here. Hi, Mom. Hi, Miss McGregor. Well, what are you two boys doing here? We were looking for you. We wanted to tell you that we're going hiking and we'll be back later. You boys going up on Thunder Mountain, you best stick to the beaten path and look out for that bear. You know what happened up there. And don't forget that crazy giant. He's up there, too. They say he went crazy and killed his folks. Mom, we'll be real careful and we'll be back by dark. I'm counting on you boys to stay out of trouble. I was eight years old and surrounded by a gaggle of boys trying to prove their manly natures, including my brothers Tommy and Ben. They were up to something, but that was nothing new. After Pa died, I know Tommy felt like he had to be the man of the house, and he took it upon himself to provide a kind of example for Ben, my younger brother, of how a man should act. They spent most of the time fighting imaginary dragons and scaring themselves silly. This time, though, it looked like the dragon was real. So that day, they went up Thunder Mountain searching for a giant and praying they wouldn't find one. Logs that big crushes like a bug. I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, wait! I don't want to wait. Let's go! We've come this far. Let's look inside the cabin. I don't want to look inside the cabin. What if he's in there? We'll be real quiet. Come on. I'll give you a boost, and you look inside the window. I don't want to look inside the window. I just want to go. You just gotta look inside. 
Aren't you curious? No. Oh, come on, just a quick look and then we'll go. I know we're going to get killed. I just know it. Uh, sure, Ben, sure. Well, what'd you see? Nothing. The window's too high. I'm leaving. Fine, leave. We've come this far. I'm gonna look inside. But you promised we'd go! to carve these.
all of you boys been? We, uh, I met this new friend. He, he does wood carvings. Well, we better go clean up. <laughs> new friend that does wood carvings? Ma believed that, but I sure didn't. And I wasn't about to sit still till I found out what they're up to. Seems that Ben and Tommy and the other boys in town had formed a special club, boys only. Zeke Magruder had fashioned himself ringleader of the bunch. I'm sure since he was the biggest. His mouth was, anyways. If I wanted to find out what my brothers was up to, it would be at their secret meeting place under Zeke's house. <laughs> Some secret. Where'd you get these? We borrowed it from the giant. That's pretty good. I don't believe it. Let's just go up and see this giant friend of yours. Up. I'm sure if Zeke Magruder had a former life, he was a cow. He ate like he had two stomachs. In fact, talking and eating at the same time was one of his specialties. That, along with bossing people around, I hear he ended up a congressman. Well, Ben, the giant's gonna be home? I don't know, but I hope he is, so Zeke can meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no intention of being left behind. I, too, was longing for some adventure. Besides, if my brothers had made friends with a giant, he was going to be my friend, too. I'm getting hungry. Aren't you guys getting hungry? I hope this won't take too long. I'm getting tired. I could sure go for a piece of pie. Aren't you guys getting hungry? set off one of Carl's traps. It scared me for a minute. Scared you? Those traps are dangerous. You could have been hurt. What are you doing here? I want to see the giant, too. No. no. I can come if I want to. Amy, go home. I sure hope nobody tells Ma about this. Women. Well, we're almost there. Stay behind us and be quiet. Okay. I'm getting hungry. The giant better be up here after walking this far. He's up here. He's big. By this time, I knew Tommy and Ben hadn't really made friends with the giant. And Zeke? for all his bluster, had a yellow streak right down the middle of his back. We were about to separate the men from the boys. Or the boys from the girls. There he is. Good grief! Okay, I've seen Uh, I just remembered. My mom has to make roar pie. I love roar pie. Bye. Whoa. What are you gonna do with the carving? I, uh... I know. Just leave it right here. Yeah, right. We'll leave it right here. He'll find it. Chickens. Boys. No! Hey, Amy, come back! Ben told me all about you. Come on, he's not gonna hurt you. The brothers are awful sorry about yesterday. They were just curious. 
That's scary. I want to give this back to you. This is Tommy, and this is Ben. Hi. Hi. Can I have some water? I'm all thirsty. Aren't you thirsty? Come on, Amy. We don't want to bother Mr. Eli. This is yours, too. Come on. Where's she going? I don't know. We better get home before he gets hungry. Boy, you sure are lucky to have such big furniture. He made all this, didn't you? Yeah, he made these too. Let me see. to be around here? He is around here. He killed my mom and pa. He must be real lonely. You better go. big hands. I forgot the water. I'll okay. get it. Why are you cleaning these? Pa taught me to always put back part of what I took. Jesse will know. I don't know. It's not like we're stealing, Ben. We'll bring it back tomorrow. We better get back with the water. I'm sorry your folks died. I pie died, too. The big book says they're in a better place. I don't remember my pa. Ma says he was real nice. Can I water them, please? That's not a dog, it's a wolf. Wow. A real wolf for a pet. It's getting late. We better go. You're right. I'm all be worried. Do we have to? Yes, Amy, we do. Eli, can I come back up here to see you again? Your mom might not like it. My mom won't mind. She's real nice. Pretty, too. Why don't you come down and meet her? Come to dinner tomorrow night. <sighs> come on, Amy. See you tomorrow night, Eli. Hi, where are you? Is that real gold? <laughs> nah. It's probably just fool's gold. Where'd you get it? Up around the giant's cabin. Well, what are you looking at me for? It's the truth. Well, if it's fool's gold, you won't mind me taking a small little...
better let her have it. She'll tell Ma. I couldn't believe they'd think I'd actually tell Ma about all this. <laughs> I had a little gold nugget, and I was off to the general store to see what it might buy. Gold, of course. Pardon me, Jesse. Can you help me with this bag of flour? I'll be right back. Excuse me, dear. Am I to understand that you don't know or you're not sure if that's real gold or not? Yep. My brother's found it up on Thunder Mountain. You're not sure if it's real either. <laughs> I'm very fortunate for you. you know, I happen to be an expert in these matters. Can I see it? Exactly where did your brothers find this? I'm not sure. Probably around the giant's house. Giant? What giant? You know, the giant that lives up on Thunder Mountain. Oh, that giant, yes. <laughs> well, as Shakespeare used to say... Who? A noted foreign writer. He said that all that glitters ain't necessarily worth nothing. What is that supposed to mean? Iron pyrite, fool's gold, no value. <laughs> However, the Ezekiah Crow is such a softy. I'm willing to buy that candy and trade it to you for this worthless rock. I don't think so. And I will throw in a free ticket to Saturday's carnival. Deal? No deal. I want three. All right. Three. And one for a friend. And one for a friend. Now do we have a deal? We got a deal. They say that money is the root of all evil. But I'd say that the desire for other people's money, or gold, is more like it. I wanted those tickets, and Hezekiah had the fever. Gold fever. Fair trade, don't you think? As I crossed the meadow, my heart raced inside of me. I had a ticket for someone special. Hi! You ever been to a carnival? A what? Carnival, you know, where they have fireworks and everything. No, I've never been to a carnival. Why don't you come to a celebration on Saturday? It's gonna be a real parade. And a band and live circus animals. Lions, monkeys, and even an elephant. The townspeople are afraid of me. Maybe you're afraid of the townspeople. Amy, the last time I came into town, I was 12 years old. I made up my mind right there and then. I was never coming down that mountain again. But you have to have fun sometime. You're all grown up now. Nobody would dare laugh at you now. Besides, you'll be with me and Ben and Tommy. Gonna have ice cold watermelon and taffy candy and everything. Come on, say it'll go. I even got a ticket for you. Well, maybe. Oh, good. I knew you'd come. Oh, and don't forget about dinner tonight. My mom's expecting you. It's the house at the edge of town. Can't miss it. See you tonight.
What time's your new friend supposed to get here? He's here! He's here! Eli, this is my ma. I told you she was real pretty. Thank you. Boy, I'm starved. Can we eat now? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, everything's ready. Come on over and have a seat. Eli, you sit here. His furniture. It's big, really big. Yeah, his whole house is big. Sure looks good, man. The bear. The bear killed my folks, man. Eli does carvings, Ma. And he has a wolf for a pet. Wolf? It's just a baby, Ma. This is the best apple pie I've had in years. Thank you. I knew you liked my Ma. That's a beautiful clock. It's been in my family for generations. It doesn't work? No. Nobody ever knew what was wrong with it. Let me take a look at it. Well, it's getting late, and the kids have to go to bed. And I have to... Oh, Mom, just a few more minutes.
I came to see the elephant. Let's go. I just wonder if Alicia Wilson knows about this. I feel it's my civic duty to tell her. I'm getting hungry. show you just how easy it is. All you have to do is knock down the bottles. The easy is rolling off the log. Well, what do you say?
Yes, sir, folks. We have a winner. This rather large gentleman has just won this beautiful doll for this little girl. Step right up, folks. Knock over the bottles and win a valuable prize. Only one thin dime, one-tenth of a dollar. It's easy. Nothing to it. All you have to do is knock down the bottles. Easy as rolling off the log. Step right up, folks. Knock over the bottles and win a valuable prize. Step right up, folks. Win a doll. Three tries for a dime. One-tenth of a dollar. <laughs> Give her the doll. But I did, like I told you. The big one. That's a ready life. The little one is nice. Put me down, you big oaf. You can't scare me into giving you a prize you didn't win. I don't care how big you are. Oh! Amy, where did you get that doll? From Mr. Eli. He won it from me. How? By bullying a poor carnival worker? Ma! Please, Ma, listen. Hey, why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Yeah, why don't you go back where you came from? You're a troublemaker! We don't like bullies. You have no business in our town. You're as dumb as you're ugly. We don't need you. You want here. to rob our kids? We don't like you are anyway. Go back where you came from, you big freak. We don't do things like that down here. Talk me into coming down. I should have known better. It ain't no different from before. I don't need them, and I don't need you. I don't need anybody. And stay off of my mountain! I gotta talk to you. Not now, son. I'm busy securing my future. <laughs> gotta be dumber than a stuffed duck to stay with this hand. But I'm gonna do it. That's exactly why we invited you to play on them, too. I don't mean to interrupt, but do we get to see your cards now or in the spring? Uh, can anyone beat us straight? Flush. I 
golly, my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I thought one of them was a diamond. It's a little straight, all right, but they're all hearts. Makes a difference, doesn't it? I bet your eyes aren't the only thing that's playing tricks. You cut me to the quick, sir. Poker's much too dear to me to resort to petty deception. Then you won't mind if we count the cards. Be my guest. Well, gentlemen, I'm sorry to break up this little contest, but my son here wants to have a conference with me. Oliver? Hey, he won't find an extra card, will he, Paul? If he does, somebody's cheating. This better be important, boy. Remember that gold nugget you got from that little girl? Yeah. It belongs to that big fella up on Thunder Mountain. His pa used to come into town a couple of times a year, paid for everything with gold nuggets. Well, we better pay him a visit, see if he's got any more, huh? Meantime, I got some live ones over there at the table. Well, I guess you boys can find something to amuse yourself with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where did you get that doll? Mr. Eli, one of them. How, by bullying the poor carnival worker? You big bully, you're a troublemaker. Why don't you figure on somebody else's side? Yeah, go back where you came from, you freak. That folks, the guy ain't nothing but a big chicken. I don't need them. I don't need you. And stay off of my mouth! Eli, wait! He's so nice. He didn't mean any harm. Amy, I don't want to frighten you, but you must be more careful. Remember what I told you about strangers? Things aren't always what they appear to be. I know. Are the chores done yet? Yep. Then the cookies are in the jar. Help yourself. Your sister took some to the Magruders. Magruders? Why would you... You go ahead and eat some. I'll be back in a little while. favorite kind. It'll make you feel better. What's that? Medicine. Does it make you feel better? No. But I'm doing better now. When you picked up that me man, I was so proud. I shouldn't have done that. It was stupid. It says so right here. I guess I forgot that yesterday. My pa said there's always somebody bigger. Eli, you must be the biggest man in the whole world. Nobody could be bigger. Amy, how'd you like to meet a real giant? Taller than you? Taller than me. Come on. Hey, Zeke. Have you seen Tommy? He went that away. Thanks. Bye. Oh! 
Look, Paul, there's the cabin. See if anyone's about. Small wonder no one bothers him up here. All I can tell you is we better find that gold. Let's go. There's a kid inside. Perhaps a tap on the head. You'll never know what hit him. Pleasure to observe the blissful slumber of children. <laughs> well, get to it, boys. Leave no stone unraveled. Agnes, have you seen Amy? She came up here hours ago to bring Zeke some cookies. No, I haven't seen her. Zeke, get in here. Have you seen Amy? Tell me the truth, now. Anyone up the mountain? She did. Yeah, then Tommy followed her, and then Ben came up later. I know this means trouble. Zeke, you go tell Mr. Henderson to get all the men together that he can meet me at the Wilson house. Yes, ma'am. There's something evil going on up there. I just know it. But don't just stand there, do it. Yes, ma'am. Now you wait right here, and don't turn around until I tell you. Where are you going? Not far. Don't walk! Amy! Meet the general! How big do I look now? Tiny! And indeed, next to that magnificent tree, he did. <laughs> Do you remember what I told you about my mom and pa being in a better place? Look around. Isn't this a better place? Seems to me, if God can make a place like this, that wherever our folks are, it must be even more beautiful. You're the best friend I've ever had. Amy, run! Eli! Get out of here! Eli! Go back to the cabin!
Look at this. Tommy! Can you do this? Let me go! Oliver, stick the little dipper in that gunny sack over there and guide him. Figure he should bring a pretty fair price in San Francisco. Them sea captains are always looking for cabin boys. Now, let's uh, proceed with the proceedings. What treasures have you unwittingly unveiled, boy? <laughs> Quiet, kid, or we'll drown you. There are times when I begin to think there's a ray of hope for you, boy. A small ray for sure, but a ray nevertheless. Oh, Percy, come here quick. They're heading toward the cabin, Paul. I can see that. They don't know we're here. If we make haste, they won't even see us. like a wildcat. He'll be all right. Kind of nasty bump, so he smells like gin. We'll get a couple of the boys together, take him back down to Doc Farnsworth. Anderson, Mom! Ben, he's got Ben and Amy. You got to go back down with the boy. Yeah, what's going on? Spread out a blanket. We got to take Alicia and the boy back down to Doc Farnsworth. All right, boys, let's fan out and find him. Big as he is, ought to leave a path as wide as the Oregon Trail. Come on, let's get it! Mom! Mom! Amy! Mom! 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 Amy, are you hurt badly? Did he try to give you something to drink? I'm sorry, Mom. I knew I shouldn't have done it. But it was so sad. Amy, did anything happen to you? He took me to see the old general on the way back. Mom, I was so scared. He was attacking us. He tried to kill us. Well, you best catch up with Henderson and Mobs. We'll take care of this. Let's go, boys. What happened to Tommy? Where's Ben? Don't you know? No. Where are those men going? Let's go. They're gonna find Ben. It's gonna be a turkey shoot. Way. Over here! 
here we best be heading back up there ma'am we'll be needing us some torches we'll get every man we can in town let's go good luck boys good night. Shh. we'll get him fixed up Crazy giant took Alicia Wilson's little girl up to the mountain. Her son followed him, and when they caught up, the, the giant got the kids all liquored up. And we're gonna need every able-bodied man we can get to find them. Who can I count on? You coming too? Well, sir, I understand how you feel. I certainly do. It's a terrible thing. It's tragic. I remember one time down around Saragossa Springs. You coming or not? Well, let's just say that I've always believed that neighbor should never turn on neighbor. I've taught the boys to live like that. Is that right, boys? That's right, Pop. You see, we're of a of a gentle persuasion that doesn't believe in violence. Anyway, our wagon threw a wheel and we gotta get it fixed tomorrow so we can catch up with the carnival and go to the next town. Do you understand?
Now, girls, don't leave. Us saloon girls have our standards, too, you know. Well, what are you going to do that for, Pa? Now they're treating us like we's ugly. Why, you intellectual pygmies? Has it ever dawned on you that every man in this town is going to be running up that hill looking for that giant? Do you know what that means? We can't get our wagon fixed till tomorrow? It means that with the men gone, this town's going to be easy pickings. Forget the wagon. Get the kid. Get the horses. We'll pay a little visit to a couple of the upstanding households of this community, and then we'll get out of town. Go! <laughs> What did Eli do to you? Not Eli, Ma. Not Eli. The carnival man. Tommy, are you saying Eli didn't hurt you? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Ma. Eli didn't hurt me. He saved me from the bear. He could be hurt. Out back, I'll saddle him up. Can I come up, please? No. There's been enough trouble for one day. Go to the Magruders till I get back. went to catch Eli on Thunder Mountain, I, who had caused the whole mess, went someplace far less interesting. Or so I thought. flapping his gums and making matters worse for everyone. I could see it was up to me to save the Magruders. So I run as fast as my legs would carry me to get help. Calm down and take it easy. We'll stop them. They've all got guns. Tommy, I've got to find Eli.
suicide? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But we'll get him. Listen to me. It wasn't him. He didn't hurt Amy or Tommy. You're after the wrong man. It was the carnival man. Captured Zeke, Mrs. Magruder, and Ben, and they're all tied up. And they hurt Tommy real, real bad. Where are they? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Anything else worthwhile around here, boy, except two dollars, Miss Thing? I'm going on there, so I get all of her anger. What do you say? He said there's a gold watch up on the shelf by the stove that came all the way from England. Go on. Sorry, Paul told you we'd drown you. <laughs> what have we got here? Making a house call, Doc? under the house, Paul. Go see what it is. All by myself? Take Oliver with you. Hurry up. The town treasures await us. Go on. Get out of here, Oliver. Go on. Get Oliver. Here's Mr. Um, Giant that there's been some grievous falsehoods spread about my impeccable character. <laughs> Perhaps it would be advantageous for you and me to uh, sit down and share a glass of port, like the gentlemen we are. <laughs> oh, what an impulsive thing for me to do. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know what comes over me. Shame, shame. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll accept my apologies. And it would seem incumbent for me to take my leave. <laughs> You're 
You're on your own, boys. Oh. Amy, go inside the house. You're all right. Let's get him to my office. No. Get him to my house. Take this with you. It's fresh bandages and some cookies. is we're sorry. Sorry about everything that's happened. Yes, and we want to help you rebuild everything. And we'd kind of like for you to, to be our sheriff. Eli. I was wrong. Folks like you stay around. I'm going back up the mountain. But Eli, 
We don't want you to leave your life. Do you have to go? I have to go. I didn't know then if Eli would come back to town someday or if I'd ever see him again. To most folks in our town, he become big old Eli. To some, he stayed a legend. But to me, he'll always be the giant of Thunder Mountain. I love bears because bears are the wildest wild animal there is on uh, on the planet. You know, they're unpretentious, they're they're guileless, they're totally honest animal, and they and they are an animal that's capable of hunting down and eating you. So there is a fascination with these animals because of uh, w when you're in their midst, you have to your primordial instincts take over. Bears are, you know, as, is as intelligent as the great apes. Bears are, um, you know, capable of all the 
the yeah. emotions that any human is 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 capable of, uh, from uh, you know a fuse of outgoing attitude to, to a deceit. Even in their deceit or their cunningness, if you want to put it that way, they are totally honest. Oh, come on. Bart is my buddy. Bart is 19 years old. No, excuse me. Bart is 18 years old now. On Bart's birthday, we make him a cake, and uh, you know, have he gets special treats and he gets ha happy birthday sung to him. He really does. <laughs> I love him. He's a great. He's my buddy, and we have a great relationship. I wouldn't forget his birthday. To me, it's no fun. To, uh, to just train a wild animal because they're too intelligent. You can teach them anything. And, and, and bears, in one or two repetitions, they know absolutely what you want of them. The, the, the interest is in having this relationship. And, and, and this honesty in this relationship and, 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 and creating this, this honest relationship with a primordial you know, beast. Uh, the way you re develop a relationship with a bear is the way you develop a relationship with anybody. You give them a lot of love. I mean, it's like you must give any animal a lot. The, the fun of this is the cuddling and the, and the back scratching and the ear rubs and, and this relationship. That's what's fun. A good, honest, positive relationship is, is what's fun, uh, you know, with anything. And that's, that's the enjoyment, not teaching a, a, a bear tricks, you know, or behaviors. It's, that's part of my business, but it's not what motivates me. All right, Bart. Bart's done a number of films, and I really don't know how many he's done. We trained the big bear and a little bear for a motion picture called The Bear, which uh, was a, a show done in Europe. And we've, tr you know, we've done The Great Outdoors, which was a John Candy, Dan Aykroyd film. We did White Fang 1. We did Legends of the Fall, which is a Brad Pitt Anthony, a Hopkins film. Well, to get a bear to look mean on set is all, it's taught behaviors. Malls are just play. Yeah, the, the, the bear has been taught to play with you with limits. He, he can't take his paws and hook you, and they, he can do this and pull your head around, but don't dig him in. Ah, easy. I'm not aware of being careful of anything other than I have an intuitive... Uh, sense of where I'm at and where the bear is at all times and where the weight of the bear is or where my weight is against him. It's, it's, it's intuitive. It's a feel. Uh, sometimes if he starts putting his weight on me, all I have to do is go, uh, uh, just move my shoulder. Easy. So there's, uh, there's limits in that. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch. Don't touch! One must be always in control. Sure, naturally. Sure, he's the he's a largest predator on the face of the earth. Good boy! Good boy! Oh, you're good. Get away, get away towards the cabin. I've heard from different sources through my career that, that, that ultimately that I could very conceivably be uh, done in by this big bear. I don't believe that, but I'm also intelligent enough to know that I can't let my guard. I mean, we, you know, that I'm always on top of the situation, and uh, so you know, it's a, it's, a, it's interesting. It's a great relationship. That's it. In the can. I got Rosie now. I got a real young little baby grizzly boy. You, she's phenomenal. You know, she's only two years old on the button, just about now, and. Fantastic little bear. We have the same relationship as Bart and I, and she's uh, about 275 pounds now, and almost six feet tall. Oh, nah, five and a half feet tall.
Rosie is, is not aggressive. She's as intelligent and she's as outgoing and as confident as Bart is. And so, I mean, you know, she's a, she's a wonderful, wonderful little animal herself. The aesthetics of that big, beautiful carnivore who coexisted on equal term with man uh, for generations and still coexists equally with man. It's the epitome of wildlife. It's the epitome of wildness.